In this class of the tutorial, I want to show you how you can model this uh, wooden earring as you can see here. And I want to show you how you can model the surface. As you can see, I can change these points and produce different results. And we can also change the number of the sections here. And I'm going to explain that, talk about this. And we can also change the offset. And at the end, you can also add a, a simple arc. Let's just switch that. And you can see that if I add an arc, we can also produce something different from that and produce a new earring. And here it goes. So you can see how easy it is to uh, produce uh, such an earring in Grasshopper. And I'm going to show and explain this uh, from scratch. So let's start from scratch. Uh, first, what we want to do is to uh, produce a simple curve, as you can see here. And then I'm going to mirror this curve and produce this one. Then we are going to also make another curve up here. Let me show you. Which is basically a simple point moving up and producing this curve. And we will have the surface. After having the surface, uh, we are going to also produce some lines on the ground, which is on these two curves. And then we are going to uh, split the surface, as you can see here. And that's the fragments. And at the end, we are also going to project that on the base surface. And then at the end, we are going to flow uh, this uh, base surface into a curve, which is simply something like this. Uh, and you can also produce something like this or an arc, which I will also explain. Okay, so let's just get started from scratch. Uh, you can also make this in Rhino uh, or the base curves in Rhino. So to make it easy, I'm going to uh, produce a point and give it a zero, okay? And also another point, which is zero again. And let's just move this one a little bit in the X direction. And we can give this a mirror, mirror this point by an X, uh, a YZ plane, which is exactly what we want. And we will have this point. So what we want to do is to move this point in the y direction, I will just create uh, a simple uh, curve. Another point will be here at the zero, and we can move this a little bit up and produce the other curve. So let's just make that in the curve section. We can go for the interpolate tool and connect these curves together. Okay, we have this point, then we have this point with the shift key and at the end we will have this point okay here we go and again we can also mirror this curve this time we have to give an x a z plane so this is going to be here so that's going to be an x z plane let's just make that turn this off and turn this plane also off extract that Okay, and the last curve will be something from the start with the shift key, the point which is up here, and the end will be the mirror point. Here we go. So now we have those curves which we need, and you can see that by ch uh, changing these points location, you can also change the resulting curve. Okay, so, and this one also. Okay. So what we want to do is to first uh, produce a series of lines on the ground. So I'm going to go to the curve section and use the division or divide curve. So let's just do that. First, it's going to be here. And the second one, let's just put the bifocals plugin so you can see this. Okay. And now we just have to define the count of the division. So let's just give this maybe from 4 to 12 and give this to here okay we can just change that and now we can simply connect those points to line so i'm going to go to the curve section and use this line here okay 
let's just give this to the line. And now I'm going to increase that or decrease that. Okay. So if we just simply split the base surface, assume that this these two curves are going to make a surface, we can produce these strips. So let's just go to the intersection and the physical and make this surface split happen. Okay. So what we want to do is to loft this curve with this curve and you can there's a uh, tip here you can also without making the loft uh, join those two curves go to the curve and join them so this is going to be a okay this one this is going to be a cool trick you can use join these two curves together and as you can see, this is going to be a closed planar curve. And because this is a closed planar curve, if you give this curve to the surface, it assumes that it's a flat surface. So you can also use that if you don't want to use it loft. So let's just split that with the lines. And here we have those fragments, right? Okay, we're going to use these fragments for the base one. So I'm going to give this a curve to, okay, let me just bake that. You can see that those are the curves for this. And we can use an offset, offset these curves. I'm going to extract the plane and turn it off. Okay, you can see that the offset is outside, so I'm going to go to the distance, expression, and minus x. Okay, let's just go to the distance, expression, and minus x. And give this a number, maybe 0.25. Here we go, we can change that and turn everything off. You can see that the borders are being produced and now we can project those uh, onto the surface. So let's just do that, project, use this project curve on the surface, project these curves, uh, the direction is going to be the Z direction because we want to project that up. And the surface is going to be this surface. Did I make that? I don't think so. So let's just loft this. This curve. With the help of this curve. And with the help of this mirror curve will be the base surface. So here we can go give this to the B rep. Turn everything off. And we're good to go. And this is the base a model which we want to put on a new curve to produce the results. So in Rhino 6 you can do that. Let's just uh, have this surface as the basis. So I'm going to use again in the intersection. Physical, the surface split is going to happen. I'm going to split the surface with these curves. But remember for these uh, curves to split the surface we have to flatten them because if we give this to the curve it's going to split one by one, but we want to split them with all the 11 curves. So I'm going to flatten this, turn everything off. Okay, and if I bake the fragments, you can see that we have, you can move, move this here and you can see those strips also. So this is the result. And what we want to do is to pick up this one. So we are going to go for item use the list item to track this. Okay, the first one was the index zero, so we, we were just lucky to pick the first thing up. Okay, now we want to make a curve for that. For this one, you can do this in Grasshopper or, Ry or, or Rhino, doesn't really matter, but let's just do this with uh, several points. I'm going to go to the front view and produce several points here. Okay, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and we're also going to have a point in zero, which we just bring up. This is going to be the base, and then I'm going to mirror these points. I don't know the plane is right or wrong. It's the YZ plane, and, it's, and we're seeing that in the correct direction so that's fine and now we're going to connect those points together so we're going to go to the curve section and use this interpolate tool so uh, these points with the shift key is this point is going to be added and at the end these points 
okay I guess that it's going up and down so these points has to the mirror point okay let me explain that this is the zero the one the two and the three points then we gave this point and now when we just mirrored this this is going to go for five six seven and eight so what I want to do is to just simply reverse the direction of this so we can just go here and put the reverse thing in and with it to go and now we can put this model on this curve so let me just decrease that to three points I guess that's better one so one two three yeah I guess that's better and you can always change that to produce results okay so now we have the curve so if you go to the transform section you will see this flow tool and we can just simply flow the base geometry is going to be this one the geometry which you want to flow and basically what flows uh, what the flow command does is that it moves the base geometry from a base curve which I'm going to give a line into a target curve which will be this one so it's going to bend it around this and you can always reverse the base or the target direction to uh, get the correct results so remember you can always give that to that okay so we need a line here I'm going to make that go to the curve and here we have a line and I'm going to make a line from here to the mirror section and we have this line here okay this is going to be the base curve the target curve will be this one and you can see that this is the inward section so I'm going to use a toggle because this is a simply true and false we need a two toggles here for the reverse base we can simply just reverse the base and that will just work or reverse the target one so whatever you want you can just do that and we can simply increase the numbers now uh, the division can be increased okay we can change the offset decrease that or increase that you can see that the results here we can increase the number I guess that's going to need a little bit more of those sections to get better results okay just hit that offset criteria because we can't make that much of offset but we're going to increase that so we get the correct results okay so that was the tutorial and you can see how easy it is to just move these points and produce different results and get the parametric earring a model by grasshopper and we can also give an arc to this so let's just go to the front section and I can give an arc because it's going to take a while I'm not going to make this in grasshopper but just show you that you can also uh, produce the arc here let's just put that into the curve section and give this to the target okay and let's just flip this you can see that you can simply let's just move this point also change those points and produce different results okay that's going to be in the plane so we have to be aware of that you can also make a parametric curve I'm going to put that in the definition so feel free to go to the website and also get this uh, curve section which you can see that we can also change by the radius here it goes and the distance which I have defined and you can just look take a look at this definition and understand if you want to make that a uh, parametric arc so that was the tutorial for the uh, parametric earring thank you for watching please uh, like our videos and comment below what do you think about this tutorial was it useful and uh, in the fabrication videos uh, Wednesdays we're going to cover those uh, tutorials which we can categorize in the CNC laser cut or 3d printing so I want to know your opinion about uh, which subject is going to be uh, interesting for you. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel and you can also watch uh, something that is related to this video that corner and see you next time.